Greetings all, Vanna here for Aries' weekly message. Aries, I hope you guys had a good week. Oh, this is a very interesting message to come out straight away. Your first message, part of it, is the star card. Illumination, awareness, and inspiration to a situation. The star is what the hermit is carrying in his lantern while he is going on his journey of self-discovery. And I feel like you are doing that because we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And all of the stars around the star card here is making me think of... There was a situation that you could accept, you could take on as your Ten of Pentacles, as your security, your stability, and your comfort. But it was not resonating with your soul. And that's why you had to lean more into the star, into the unconscious, because we were walking away from some, from a form of stability, a form of security for more of personal fulfillment. Note how she's pouring water both into the pool and onto the land with that balancing of power. That is her intentions of healing and creation itself both pouring it onto the land to fertilize what she's wanting and into the water, validating her emotions and the depths of everything that she has already overcome. So there is a decision to be made here, Aries. Oh, but look who it came out for you, the Empress. When you make this decision to walk away and to literally bear yourself as in the star card, she is naked. That's why I had to cover it up. You bared yourself to start completely anew. And in being a fresh canvas, you have the entire freedom to create something brand new. And the Empress coming in stating like, yes, all of that nourishment you poured into the land is flourishing. She is fertility in embodiment of creation itself and she is no longer bare and exposed she is sitting in comfort in luxury because she valued herself enough to work on herself to work for herself and i absolutely love this and we're moving away from this four of pentacles energy where we had to hang on to absolutely everything look at how connected everything is you don't have to hang on to this one coin thinking that is your only form of stability, thinking that is your only way to feel safe because there are so many others out there and it is part of our journey. It is part of our road to occasionally let go of and release and move on from situations where we once were. I mean, think about it. You were not in the same position that you were a couple of years ago, whatever that may be, whether that was you were just in high school then and you were figuring yourself out or... You just became a parent or you became, you were welcomed into this new job or perhaps you lost your old job. Fundamentally, you are not the same. And not a lot of us take a lot of conscious effort in making our changes beneficial for us. We, we just go along our life and accept the things that come around us. But you deserve sugar, not salt. You deserve to be aware of what goes into your life. There's a little, little story um, with my uncle Murdoch. He's actually having surgery today for his um, stomach cancer. Gods be with him. But um, he asked me to make him a coffee, and I didn't know his kitchen very well, so I accidentally put salt into his coffee instead of sugar. And it, it just reminded me of this story. And it's like other people's carelessness or ignorance, like in the situation with myself and my uncle, can bring upset into your life and that is something that you can be discerning over had i had simply asked where is it instead of just assuming i wouldn't have had to do that but then again we wouldn't have had that running joke but not everyone will have that awareness and courtesy over your life so when you step up for yourself and state like hey just so you know i'm not okay with that and people still do something well then that's when the bitch fire comes out I, I love the similarities in the hands here because it really feels like Aries is taking their destiny into their own hands. And I'm very proud of you for that because, like I said, there's a lot of people that just let their lives happen to them and they don't consciously take any part of the development or changes that are going on. Unplug and relax for a spell. 
I love that this is the tower because everyone knows what the tower looks like in tarot. But not a lot of people look at the brighter side of the tower card, which is recovery, rebuilding, and caring for yourself again. So that when we do fall apart, because sometimes we do just have to fall apart, we can regather ourselves and keep what we really want because sometimes when things fall apart it is just irrecoverable you can't rebuild it but that also means you look for an opportunity for something better for something that is meant to be in this new form of your castle of your life and when you look at yourself and your life as a canvas and a project that you actively take part in there is very little that you can't do because the limitations are then what you believe you want or what you believe you can do or what you believe you deserve. Lioness, you have earned all of your stripes. You have earned the scars and the lessons and the, the intuitions that you have, Aries, because you have conquered many things in your life that were challenges for you. They were presented to you to see if you were strong enough, wise enough, or caring, or even aware enough to work through those challenges that are presented to you. And I, I like, I was just looking at the, the, the reversed Ten of Pentacles, and then I see the escapist come home to yourself. What I was really feeling with this situation is that this is not where you felt seen. This is not where you felt safe. Whatever the situation was that you're leaving, whether it is a job that you technically had a lot of stability in. Um, one lesson and story from my own life is um, when I was 19, um, I was a CNA. And when I quit my job at the, um, the nursing home I was working at, the nurse that ironically enough was the reason I quit asked me, do you have another plan? Like, do you have another place lined up? And I said, no. And she said like, well, what are you doing? You're going to mess yourself up because I didn't have another nursing home place to go to. And that was a, st a stable working job. I mean, you got a lot of money from it, but I myself was the most miserable I ever was. And I worked fast food before that. And so to value and honor myself and what I wanted, I had to leave that situation that so many of other people would have just taken and continued to deal with the bullshit. But I valued and honored myself enough. And you are in a very similar situation. The Empress does not come out for someone who does not have a sense of self-worth and self-value because that is what she is built upon. The I am worthy of love, I am worthy of care, and I am the embodiment of creation because I am magic. The Empress and the Star are here for you along with so much of this empowerment to help you work through the imposter syndrome and fear that comes along with when we decide that we are going to choose something different, when we decide that we are going to choose us. And so many of us have a hard time figuring out who that is because there have been a lot of other inputs going on in that situation. And it really does feel like quite the circus because you have the circus tent and the token that says, not my circus, not my monkeys. They are not your problem. You deserve sugar, not salt. You don't deserve to deal with all of that stress. Your ancestors are help guiding your way, perhaps ancestors that have passed on before you with the mandala to help unlock your heart there has been damage to it but i'm also seeing the yarn ball and how much potential exists within this this could be a sweater this could be a blanket this could be a tablecloth it can be anything that you want it to be the sky is the limit you have a sand dollar and the healing hand as well Get to the ocean, Aries. Get to a place of some water, some beautiful color. Because the earth is there to heal you. The earth is there to help you. And it might be part of your journey to help release at these water places so that you can heal so much. Because I know it's your opposite, but it does have healing powers, my love. Have a beautiful day, Aries.